channel, I'm Ellen if you're new here and today I'm filming a bag unboxing video um, like it won't be a review, it's literally just an unboxing, we can have a look at it together um, I love filming these kind of videos and I think you guys love them too because they always seem to do really well on my channel I will be doing a what's in my bag for this video at some point so do look out for that best way to look out for that is probably hit the subscribe button um, so you'll be updated if that video comes out um, I am aiming to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year again like I said in my last video I feel like I sound crazy every time I say it but I am so <laughs> determined to get there and I would love if you could do it with me and if you could hit that subscribe button um, and whilst you're down there I'd love you could smash a like on the video so we can get it out there to as many people as possible I'll get into the video because that's what you're here for so I um, have picked up the Colt Gaia, I don't know if I'm saying this right, I think I'm saying it right, um, Arc bag, which is the bag of the season. Um, I know it's a really Marmite bag, so some people love it, some people absolutely hate it, and there's kind of no in between, but I absolutely adore this handbag. Um, and I think, I'll leave a link down below, I can't remember if this bag comes in two sizes, so I, I can't remember exactly which one I've got, um, but I'll leave a link down below. Um, I know the brown one comes in two sizes, but that's not the one I've got. So I'll stop teasing you and get into showing you. Um, so in terms of the packaging, it's just beautiful. It comes in this beautiful millennial pink, is that what this colour's called? I think it is. Um, box, which is just so pretty with the embossed embosses inward they're like sticking out um gold kurt gaia written on the front like rose gold so pretty um and then i'll get into the box so just opening it up and inside you've got the colt gaia dust bag so it comes so so beautifully packaged um i actually got this well my um so my mum and my dad got this for me in the states um but i know it's available on net -a um and i think you can get the actual Kurt Geyer website to send it to the UK as well um, and I saw from Lydia Millen's video that I think shipping is really good on it so really quick um, and there probably will be a customs charge if you do get it sent from the US but I'll try and leave the Net-a-Porter link down below to it so I'll just get it out so we've got the the Kurt Geyer dust bag and then we've got the little like um, proof thanks for buying. The unique acrylic Gaia Arc is handmade by skilled artisans using exceptional materials. Slight variations are to be expected and are what make this piece unique. Perfectly imperfect. Please be gentle and take care of this delicate piece. Enjoy Cult Gaia. And then that's actually really adorable. I like that. And I did actually know it was a really fragile bag, so that's good to know that I've got to be careful with it. And that's got the little embossing that is just adorable. I love I love the little details like that that come with like handbags like this. So I've got it. That was not being delicate with Ellen. <laughs> so I've got it here. I'll just open it up. Oh, it's so pretty. So I got the I think it's Mother of Pearl um pink one. So this is it. Um I do think it comes in two sizes, but I can't. 100% remember so I don't want to say 100% that this is the small or the medium or whatever because I can't 100% remember how many sizes it comes in but oh my god look at it it's so cute so it's got the Colt Gaia branding there and then it's got so you can either hold it like this or just use it as a clutch which will I, I will probably do like have it like folded down like this and just use it as a little clutch um I just feel like that's kind of how I prefer to hold it like I'm sure that probably gets uncomfortable but like you probably could yeah hold it both ways and the mother of pearl like acrylic is just beautiful it's like you can see like all the like kind of marbling in it and it's just so pretty but you can feel that it's delicate like it's it is like you've got to be quite careful with it you can tell um and then oh I didn't realize the detailing on it so it's got these little like beads in between the little like um slacks I don't know what you'd call those um but oh my god it's so pretty and then yeah so it's got the branding there which is in the like that is embossed I think like gold um and then yeah so a lot of people have commented on other people's videos and pictures that this bag is probably really impractical um but I think I will probably end up using the dust bag um to put everything in there so just put everything in the dust bag and then slot it in like that so that you can like keep everything in not worry about anything falling out or just get some sort of little like clutch or like something small to put inside it that could put all your stuff in um but I don't like it's not big enough that like anything would fall through maybe if you had like a like a 
card holder that probably I don't think it would like might fall out of those but I don't think it would it probably might stick out and everyone will be able to see what you've got in there but if you're not too bothered about that then that's fine but um yeah I probably put something like that in there to put all my bits in um but I think it is a night out bag it is a kind of going for dinner and drinks and it's that kind of bag more than an everyday bag um but you know what I'm like I do love using a small bag as an everyday bag and I want to get as much wear out of this as possible um so I'm sure I will use it to its full advantage and probably end up using it as a day bag once or twice um but it is just so pretty i really adore this bag i think it's so so unique and chic and i think it's just very different to everything else that's on the market and that's kind of why i was so so drawn to it um it's just got kind of like more about it and it's kind of like in a material i've never seen used for a bag before like in a kind of shape that feels very like nostalgic um to like them the 90s and also the color as well um and i just think it'll look really beautiful paired with like florals or a variety of things really like muted tones like a very like monochrome outfit with this i just yeah there are so many ways you can wear this i absolutely adore it um and i will be doing what's in my bag for it as well um Again, I will leave the link down below to where you can buy this. I think it's around the £300 mark. Um, so kind of like high-end, high-street, end of bag prices. Um, but I will leave a link for it down below anyway. And that's it. That's all I've really got to say about it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, then drop them in the comments or um, send me a tweet or something. Um, and I will try and get back to you about it. And um, yeah, I will catch you on my next one, guys. Please, please remember to hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video and give the video a thumbs up to let me know you did. And I will see you next Wednesday at 8pm for my main channel video or next Sunday at 5 if you're a vlog viewer. Um, I weekly vlog every Sunday at 5. That's a new thing I'm doing. So if you want to go and watch those, go and check those out. And see you in my next one. Bye, guys.